All right, so how you doing today? So today is 22nd of uh, May 2021. I got about 745, and I thought this was a good time so you can see this old Whiff Creek here, okay? Ahead of me, I'm going to enlarge that. All right, that's Fort Monroe, all right, and the Chamberlain Hotel. This is the inlet of, uh, what is this the inlet of? Uh, Elizabeth River, okay? And uh, also, like, part of, like, um, the Hampton Roads Channel, okay? Uh, James River uh, from the Atlantic Ocean, all right? And uh, ahead, right there is Norfolk Naval Base there. I haven't had a chance to do a, a tour on the base and for reasons why, like, uh, you can't do tours uh, on that base or whatever, okay? Like, you, can't, you cannot do filming on any government property. So here we have it here. Uh, this is old Whiff Creek Road, okay? A lot of these houses here, that they're houses from, like, uh, like uh, after the Civil War when they put together the shipyard, okay? So I'm going to... Uh, we're gonna fast forward, hit this to another area. All right, but this is part of where I'm from. Okay, we used to go out here and go fishing a lot. And we're gonna go and move on because the sun's getting ready to go down, all right? All right, so I'm moving further down with Creek here. You can see like uh, fishing piers and you can also see uh, sailboat uh, little piers right above here. Uh, maybe about a mile, half a mile. Okay, here's the uh, boats. Okay, with uh, the flats and all that. Um, man, I forgot what they call cargo boats. Okay, there's several of them right over this way. And it's also a me uh, marine terminal. Okay, uh, man, sorry about that. Portsmouth Marine Terminal. I lost focus for a little bit. And right in this area here, you can, this observatory. All right, so I'm gonna move up a little further here. You'll see about three or four of these uh, further down with Creek Road, okay? Let's move on a little further. All right, I'm a little further down. This is uh, Manteo and uh, Whiff Creek here. Looks like they've done some extensive, like, decorating down this way. So um, let me zoom this out a little bit, okay? So you can go further down here. Those are the little sailboat docks I was talking about. And as we move uh, further down the Hampton Roads Channel, that'll be like downtown Newport News this way in Suffolk across uh, the water. So let's move a little closer down that way while we still got daylight. All right. I'm sorry, man. I wanted to do a lot more while I was back home, but we had some other things going on between me and my mom and my homeboy and all that. So uh, I'll have to get a time where I'll do this more, more of this in a couple of months. But I do have some stuff about the, the different tunnels that they have here. And um, I'll try to maybe do like a little... Uh, epilogue video before I leave here, uh, leave out of Philadelphia in the morning to head back to Las Vegas. So hope all you guys are doing well out there and being safe, okay, out there in Vegas. And I'll be looking forward to doing more content out there. All right, let's move on. All right, so this is some old school water pump, water pumping station here. So I guess they're probably going to pump water out of the, out of the river here. This is a freshwater river. Okay, and they're probably going to purify it and all that stuff and make this into, uh, all right, uh, uh, what they call uh, potable water, where you could take your showers off at. You can drink it, but I just don't recommend you to do that, all right? Like, uh, drinking water is not safe anymore unless you're going to get your own purifier. But anyway, yeah, we're getting closer here to downtown Newport News. Uh, this loop, our road is going to loop around, and uh, probably in a couple of miles, it'll be like the Marine Terminal here. Um, so... Again, I'm sorry, uh, we, sorry I haven't got a chance to do any uh, filming the way I wanted to, but you know, it's kind of like when I'm on vacation, I kind of like the vacation, okay? So I, I don't want to reveal everything, all right? Um, I probably want to set aside some, some times or whatever, okay? Uh, a few blocks where I can do a little bit of stuff so you know, I can gradually show more uh, the more I come home. I wanted to, one of the tours that I wanted to, uh, I wanted to do was the Colonial uh, Colonial Williamsburg, so you guys can see uh, that's how that's set up. That was one of the oldest cities here in, in the U, uh, U.S., as well as my hometown. This one, Hampton, Virginia, uh, the oldest uh, city actually founded by you know Europeans. Okay, uh, there was the Powhatan uh, Indian tribe that lived here. Okay, so 
the settlers had came and lived with, with that this uh, particular tribe here. Okay, so but back to the the this the segment here, so you can see the Whiff Creek Road here. Okay, you can see these beautiful houses. Uh, a lot of these houses were uh, built like around the late 1800s here. Okay, uh, well manicured neighborhood there. Okay, all right. Uh, right on the uh, on the ravine here. So people go sell football, boating, fishing. You can see people like uh, jogging here. You know, doing all kinds of you know real chill type stuff. Um, you have hard working people here. A lot of people here that's retired. So right across here, I'll be a part of the naval base there. Okay, uh, right there you got part of the uh, marine terminal. All right, um, a little bit of the marine terminal, uh, Portsmouth that is. Okay, uh, that's all, uh, all all pretty much in conjunction with each other, like uh, in vicinity. All right, uh, just so you know, the Norfolk Naval Base is the largest base here in the U.S. Okay, so um, uh, here around the, the Tide Warner Peninsula area, we call it the 757, seven cities, you have um, a large uh, military presence. You have the naval base, there's a couple of army bases. We had more army bases, but they closed down. Uh, Air Force Base and a couple of Marines bases. My dad was in the Air Force, and that's how uh, he ended up down this way in the first place and uh, as well as uh, Coast Guard in Virginia Beach. And uh, I have to get around to do Virginia Beach as well. So sorry, guys. So I, um, it's hard to fit all this stuff in in a little bit of time. All right, let's move on, though, okay? All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So this will probably be my last clip of the night here. They got, uh, they're doing some road work over here. And that's with Creek there, as you can see, all right, that we went along, all right, it's about two, three miles. And uh, in Hampton and over here on the op opposite side of the Hampton Roads Channel is uh, Portsmouth and Norfolk, all right? Uh, some of that's uh, the Hampton Roads Bay Bridge Tunnel. Uh, so at the end of this road here, there's a few, there's a fishing pier Okay, so here's Hampton Roads that you could be able to see a few things here. Uh, world's largest natural harbor. I never knew that. I always thought, yeah, that was Baltimore, but it's this one. Okay, so here's uh, some li a little bit of uh, history here. Okay. Um, and basically they uh, concocted this uh, area called Hampton through the Hampton Courts in England. Okay, uh, Norfolk is named out of the Norfolk Terrence in uh, England and Queen Elizabeth or whatever, okay, that they set it up the way they wanted to set it up, okay. So they talk about this, uh, these uh, Civil War battles because it's had a lot of um, uh, Revolutionary War and Civil War history here, okay. And if you look at a t uh, video I've done back in January, okay, uh, probably like four months ago of the tour of Fort, Fort Monroe, Scroll back in my videos and you can see that. That pretty much, uh, video pretty much uh, confirms that, all right? Because that was the main base that uh, helped fight those wars, okay? Um, and staged a lot of the ships, a lot of those little battleships there, okay? So, uh, National Marine Society, okay, Sanctuary. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, they have a, a whole lot of shipwrecks out here that they found, okay? So, yeah, I, I told you guys about, uh, in that video about the USS Monitor and Mer Merrimack ba uh, battle, that the Monitor, it was a Confederate uh, battleship, okay? And it, it got sunk by the uh, Merrimack, all right, which was a Union uh, spaceship, uh, not spaceship, but I don't know what I'm thinking there. Uh, battleship there, okay? So, yeah. Talks about wood versus iron, iron versus iron. Okay, so I guess the battleships uh, wars were just all based on, you know, just uh, strategic uh, tactics. 
and we have a fishing pier at the end here at uh, this uh, little trail. So I got to keep this in mind so I can go fishing here uh, with the kids. We got to try to get a, a trip for that. And also uh, a couple of my homies that we can go fishing out here. So we had more piers than this, man, but they tore all the, all the piers down. Okay, took them all down. Uh, I did some videos about five months ago about the surrounding areas of, of uh, Fort Monroe where we used to fish at, and they put nets around the revere, uh, ravines, maybe about 100 feet out, 50 feet out, to keep the fish from coming inland, okay? So it's basically like a little, here, like almost like a little swamp, like right around this ravine here, okay? You can see it right there. And uh, man, they have mosquitoes out here too. So make sure that you, when you, if you're out in this area here, ladies and gentlemen, or if you're from this area, you live out in Vegas, or you're in the surrounding area of Vegas, make sure that you bring your off. Spray it on your good. All right. Now I'm gonna go on and head on back or whatever. It's time to go on and bring it in. Man, I wanted to do more videos, but I just, I couldn't. Man, I just wanted to get so rest, so, uh, some rest. I just so tired here. Let me, uh, I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna make a few final remarks. All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, again, this vacation came on at the right time, man. I'm I'm so tired here, uh, ripping, ripping and running in Las Vegas, doing Lyft and doing Amazon and all those different gigs. And I'm just thinking in a little while that something's gonna have to give, you know? So, you know, I'm all, probably almost willing to bet to say like Lyft and Uber is go are going to probably merge. All right, Postmates and uh, Uber already done that. But uh, man, I'm just tired though, so. I was just like, I uh, spent a few days up in Delaware and checked that area out because that may be something I might want to uh, permanently retire when I'm done. I don't know, in about, I don't know, in several years. So we'll see. Um, but it's good to be home. And yeah, this, uh, I'll be back in Vegas probably like early next week and we'll get back at it again. I don't know what I want to do. Uh, I haven't really heard any news or whatever, okay? Other than just anxiously waiting for uh, the resort worlds to open back up, to open up the brand new hotel down in Midtown and probably Memorial Day. So uh, just have to figure out what there is to talk about here. Uh, I need to do some footage on hockey, maybe a little bit on basketball here. Uh, they got this special playoff here where I guess they have to play the bottom teams that is have to play to make the playoffs. Uh, that's interesting or whatever. I just saw that Golden State game here with, with my friend and I think they got eliminated. So, and a few other games here. So, um, let me see. I believe that uh, Washington lost against Philadelphia. All right, to make the playoffs. So, yeah, I could probably use that time to do some sports footage and also the Golden Knights. So uh, you get to get a few, a breath of a few more areas of where I'm from, and I appreciate you listening to this video, okay? Uh, if you like it, feel free to subscribe, uh, share, check out some of my other videos, and let me know what you think. All right? You guys have a good evening there, and uh, stay safe out there in Las Vegas. All right, so this is the Baltimore Harbor Tunnel here at 895 uh, Interstate. This tunnel was built like in the early 50s. You probably can look at a video of it on YouTube. All right, looks like they've done an extensive uh, world, road work as far as in renovating this road. Okay, and when we come out, uh, downtown Baltimore is supposed to be from a distance. Uh, I did a a video on that a while back ago. I believe it was uh, September of the stadium and uh, also uh, where the Ravens play and where the Orioles play. So we're gonna come out of this tunnel here in just a second there, okay? But for the most part, you get to see the tunnel, and this is also runs with uh, the. Fort McHenry Tunnel as well, okay?
uh, I-95, and they're going to join at a certain point just north, uh, north of Baltimore here. Okay. Hope everybody's doing fine. I just thought I'd make this little video here since I was in Baltimore. I head up to Philadelphia so I can leave, fly back to Las Vegas, so... You see both highways, they run side by side for a while, okay? Eight, I-895 and 95, okay? We're gonna come under the bridge of it right now. See that? That's I-95, that right up underneath us. I don't know why they did it like that, but I guess maybe it has to do with the uh, Harbor Passage. It's probably the best path. They didn't have to dig, but so far down into the ground, you know, like where uh, you see, uh, I guess, the surfaces of the, of, the, uh, of the Baltimore Harbor. So this will probably join in about four miles. But for the most part, you get to see the harbor, uh, Baltimore Harbor Tunnel. All right. All right, I'm going to end it right there, guys.